Well, welcome everyone. We're so glad you're here. We are closing out our worship week and uh, I found this beautiful painting by Moreau to illustrate our gospel. Um, I was very moved by it. It's one of those ones that kind of caught me and I thought I'd share it with you all. So um, of course we are, we are all sympathetic to the poor donkey who looks slightly overborne. Um, but uh, I love the concern in the Samaritan's face um, and, and, the, uh, and the articulation of, of the victim, you know, the, the man who was beaten. It's really beautiful in a, in a sad sort of way. So I'll take us live on Facebook and uh, I'll ask, because that's what we do, it's our tradition. What do you guys have for dinner? Amy's making a uh, meatloaf today. Uh, she doesn't use bread. We use grated uh, carrot and cauliflower. Oh, lovely. And peas and sweet potato. Nice. Very nice. Leftovers, you, Laura. Leftover. Took a took a hunk of uh, lasagna out of the freezer. Mm. Perfect. You know, leftover lasagna is better than regular lasagna. I think it's had it's had time to gain character. And I just didn't feel like cooking. <laughs> well, neither do we. We 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 even could have just warmed up uh, monkfish, but we decided. I shouldn't say we. I decided I wanted Thai for the end of the week. So we're ordering in some Thai food. <laughs> and it's just kind of that kind of manky day where you just want some, some good, like a nice curried, whatever would be good. So I do have some good tidings. Um, one day we had a consultation with a guy who does um, air purification work and air sanitation work. And it looks like for a relatively decent price, we'll be able to arrange for the air exchange that we need to be able to go back into the church and the parish hall um, relatively safely. So, you know, Allison, definitely you'll be hearing more about that. Um, Lori, yeah. you're hearing about that as well, because Kirk will be complaining about the cost. Uh, <laughs> I know he won't. I know he won't. That's his job. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> I mean, he watches our watches the finances. You know. Yeah, but no, he doesn't complain at all. He's he's actually yeah. he's actually the guy who makes things happen for us. Okay. And th there's there's a difference between being awareness of cost and the cost of ministry. And if, if there the you cost go. of air exchange is ministry, then that's what we do. See, there you go. We don't, we don't buy paper clips for the sake of paper clips. We buy paper clips to print, you know, proclaim Jesus. There you go. Paper clips is ministry. Everything is ministry. That's right. Okay, I'm calling us up. We are good to go. And nobody, so that's one good thing. And the other good thing is that our, our holiday tent sale opened up wonderfully. We were very busy. And um, we covered the cost of the tent. Nice. Today, Amy so. said she's going over this evening. Yep, we had uh, we had over we had over six hundred dollars um, at the uh, at the tent mm -hmm. the Christmas sale. We had over five hundred and almost six hundred dollars in the uh, in the main thrift shop. So, how are you handling the crowds? Um, it's great. Everything is set up. You 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 have to sign in at both places. You sanitize. Mm -hmm. And then there are specific limits of who can go into the building and who can't nope. or who can go in. And also you have to walk around. So there's traffic flow patterns that direct where you need to go. And um, nobody touches anybody. So okay. that sounds good. Awesome. So we are ready to pray. You guys ready? Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Yours is the day, oh God. Yours also the night. You established the moon and the sun. You fixed all the boundaries of the earth. You made both summer and winter. My brothers and sisters in Christ, let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole hearts. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways, to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen us in all goodness, 
and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Please join me for the invitatory in unison. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. The second half of Psalm 37, I'll read the even verses this time. You guys respond with the odd. They are not put to shame in evil times. In the days of famine, they have abundance. But the, the wicked perish, the enemies, the enemies of the Lord, the Lord are like the glory, like the glory of, pastures. of pastures. They vanish, they vanish, smoke, smoke, they vanish, they vanish away. away. The wicked borrow and they do not pay back, but the righteous are generous and keep giving. For those blessed those by the Lord, Lord shall inherit the land, land. those cursed by him shall, shall be cut off. off. Our steps are made firm by the Lord when he delights in our way. Though we stumble and the Lord holds us by the hand. I have been young and now am old, yet I have not seen the righteous forsaken or their children begging bread. They are ever, ever giving the liberty and, lending, and, lending, and their children, children become, become a blessing. blessing. Depart from evil and do good, so you shall abide forever. For the Lord For the loves justice, justice and he will not forsake his faithful ones. ones. The righteous shall be kept safe forever but the children of the wicked shall be cut off. The righteous shall inherit the land and live in it forever. The mouths of the righteous utter wisdom, and their tongues speak justice. The law of their hearts and their hearts, their steps do not slip. The wicked watch for the righteous and seek to kill them. The Lord will not abandon them to their power, or let them be condemned when they are brought to trial. Wait for the Lord and keep to his way, and he will exalt you to inherit the land. You will look on the destruction of the wicked. I have seen, the, seen the wicked oppressing and, and towering like cedar of Lebanon. of Lebanon. Again I passed by, and they were no more. Though I sought them, they could not be found. Mark the blameless and behold the upright, for there is posterity for the peaceful. But transgressors shall be altogether destroyed. The posterity of the wicked shall be cut off. Salvation, Salvation of the righteous, the righteous is from the Lord. He is their refuge, is their refuge in the time. time of trouble. The Lord helps them and rescues them. He rescues them from the wicked and saves them because they take refuge in him. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Paul's first letter to the church in Corinth. Now concerning the collection for the saints, you should follow the directions I gave to the churches of Galatia. On the first day of every week, each of you is to put aside and save whatever extra you earn so that collections need not be taken when I come. And when I arrive, I will send any whom you approve with letters to take your gift to Jerusalem. If it seems advisable that I should go also, they will accompany me. I will visit you after passing through Macedonia, for I intend to pass through Macedonia, and perhaps I will stay with you or even spend the winter so that you may send me on my way wherever I go. I do not want to see you now just in passing, for I hope to spend some time with you if the Lord permits, but I will stay in Ephesus until Pentecost, for a wide door for effective work has opened for me, and there are many adversaries. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our first canticle, the Song of Mary. Together, my soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm 
He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Luke. Just then a lawyer stood up to test Jesus. Teacher, he said, what must I do to inherit eternal life? He said to him, what is written in the law? What do you read there? He answered, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your strength, and with all your mind, and your neighbors as yourselves. And he said to him, you have given the right answer. Do this, and you will live. Wanting to justify himself, he asked Jesus, and who is my neighbor? Jesus replied, a man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho and fell into the hands of robbers who stripped him, beat him, and went away, leaving him half dead. Now by a chance, a priest was going down the road, and when he saw him, he passed by on the other side. So likewise, a Levite, when he came to the place and saw him, passed by on the other side. But a Samaritan, while traveling, came near him, and when he saw him, he was moved with pity. He went to him and bandaged his wounds, having poured oil and wine on them. Then he put him on his own animal, brought him to an inn, and took care of him. The next day he took out two denarii, gave them to the innkeeper and said, take care of him, and when I come back, I will repay you whatever more you spend. Which of these three do you think was a neighbor to the man who fell into the hands of the robbers? He said, the one who showed him mercy, Jesus said to him, go and do likewise. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our second canticle, the Song of Simeon. Together, Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. The Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful. We entreat you, O Lord. That your holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill. We entreat you, O Lord. You, o Lord. That we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses. We entreat you, O Lord, that there may be peace to your church and to the whole world. We entreat you, O Lord, that we may depart this life in your faith and fear and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ. We entreat you, O Lord, that we may be bound together by your Holy Spirit in the communion of the ever-blessed Virgin Mary, blessed Peter, our patron, and all your saints, entrusting one another and all our life to Christ. We entreat you, O Lord. Almighty and everlasting God, in Christ you have revealed your glory among the nations. Preserve the works of your mercy, that your church throughout the world may persevere with steadfast faith in the confession of your name. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus, stay with us, for evening is at hand and the day is past. Be our companion in the way. Kindle our hearts and awaken hope. 
that we may know you as you are revealed in scripture and the breaking of bread. Grant this for the sake of your love. Amen. O God and Father of all whom the whole heavens adore, let the whole earth also worship you. All nations obey you, all tongues confess and bless you, and men and women everywhere love you and serve you in peace. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. I invite you prayers of intercession and thanksgiving. Pray for Lorraine, who's having renal dialysis tomorrow. Give thanks for our thrift shop volunteers and the hard work they put in to support our mission and ministry. Give thanks for all our customers who are doing so much, both to enjoy the shop's resources, but also to increase ours. We pray for peace in all of our households, grace and reconciliation. O oh God, you made us in your own image and redeemed us through Jesus, your son. Look with compassion on the whole human family. Take away the arrogance and hatred which infect our hearts. Break down the walls that separate us. Unite us in bonds of love and work through our struggle and confusion to accomplish your purposes on earth that in your good time, all nations and races may serve you in harmony around your heavenly throne. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please join me in the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we your unworthy servants give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised to your well-beloved son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Well, thank you guys. I appreciate your time and your presence and also your, your faithfulness as we continue to offer the daily offices. I'll give you a piece of feedback. I deeply appreciate the fact that when we reach the prayer of St. Chrysostom, you both get this great smile on your faces as we're approaching the end and completed the service before we say, let us bless the Lord. It, it heartens me. I love that prayer. You give me joy. So thank you for that. And thank you everybody else. Please like and subscribe. There's a new rector's vlog that's up. You can see on YouTube. Please do check out the e-news when it comes out tomorrow and all of the bits and pieces are in alignment there. Still have to write my piece. Um, Laura, what's the word of the day? Do you remember? Uh, resi not resilience. It's, it's the nice word for stubbornness. Tenacity. 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 So we're on tenacity so tonight. And we have our, our virtual Sunday school that's taping tonight. And that will post, we'll put a sneak peek on the community page. And then it will debut and go up on our website um, tomorrow after the e-news goes out. So thank you guys so much. God bless you. Have a great evening. Whether it is meatloaf or lasagna, enjoy. God bless. Bye, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>